Good afternoon, folks. What's going on here? Good evening to some out there in the eastern part of the country. Earthmaster here checking in on this Monday, uh, June 28th, the day 2021, just about 5 p.m. West Coast time here in California, the West Coast, where we continue to bake absolutely horrid temperatures, but that's okay, right? It is summertime, and uh, I'm thankful to have a good working air conditioner, let me tell you. 2.6, latest quake out here around the Texas area. Out there in earthquake country, who would have thought? Texas earthquake country? Absolutely. Quite a bit of swarming going on up at Yellowstone National Park. We're going to jump into that first thing as we look at the Yellowstone overview, which is a seismograph uh, overview of each individual station around Yellowstone National Park. The caldera is going to be this black line right here in Yellowstone, the super volcano. Quite a bit of swarming along the northwestern section of the park, right around, I, I kind of pinpointed the swarming epicenter to be right around this Maple Creek station in the northwest corner of Yellowstone National Park seeing uh, the most uh, defined signatures when it comes to earthquake activity had a pr uh, pretty good period of uh, intense swarming for a little while a few hours ago including a 3.1 and a couple twos in there as well most of this is microquake activity but nonetheless pretty uh, significant uh, multitude of quakes taking place there uh, USGS does have them listed, about 56 earthquakes or so, right around that northwestern edge, Maple Creek section, um, and they're, uh, it's typical. I get, this is kind of where we see a lot of earthquake swarms in this region, also down there in Yellowstone National, or uh, Yellowstone Lake area. Um, of course, anywhere in the Caldera area and the Intermountain West regions, um, we can see swarming and this is kind of what's taking place here we've seen some hebgen lake swarming a few days ago uh, that may pick up possibly again but for now 56 earthquakes in the region of what i just discussed there around maple creek and there are a lot of microquakes folks there's no doubt a lot of microquakes the biggest one so far is going to be that 3.1 uh let's see exactly where it went to yeah 3.1 it was covered underneath all those microquakes and then the 2.5 being the second largest the two uh, 3.1 10 kilometers below the surface that's pretty deep for yellowstone area that's actually really deep uh, and looking at all the other magnitudes here we can see uh some fairly deep activity all over the place uh, around eight nine ten kilometers there's a couple shallow ones there but uh, th those are some negative numbers, so it's possible the seismologists have not taken those off or revised them yet from the map. But most of these quakes, way down there, 8, 9, 10 kilometers, like I mentioned. So kind of watching this. Um, I don't believe it's volcanic in nature, but you never know what kind of earthquake activity could, um, you know, potentially stir alive a super volcano. But looking at the uh, overview, I don't see any signs of volcanic uh, tremor, harmonic tremor, anything that would tell me that there's magma movement, but something def definitely happen happening about 10 kilometers below the surface there uh, with quite a bit of earthquake swarming going on in Yellowstone National Park. The rest of the country, looking over towards the uh, Idaho area, a few quakes along the Sawtooth Fault System and up there in the Pacific Northwest, I should say the desert Pacific Northwest, not really, they got lots of trees, but it's hot. Well above 100 degree, 110, 15 degrees around Portland again, up in Washington. Man, I feel I feel sorry for those folks. A lot of people have no air conditioning. You know, they they got it good for the most part of the year. Uh, never never would have thought they'd be up in the 115 degree range, right? Uh, a little bit of swarming west of Mount St. Helens. About five earthquakes, pretty small microquakes, and some pretty deep movement at that. 24 kilometers below surface. Um, yeah, that's really deep. That's uh, extremely deep movement there. A lot going on underneath the North American continent at the moment. Uh, Mountain Hood, some earthquake activity. Pretty shallow, 1.1 south of the summit area. Uh, Mount Rainier seeing a little spike of an earthquake here at the uh, summit. Pretty shallow, 1.3 kilometers for a 0.8. Into Oregon, looks pretty quiet except for off the coast. A couple small microquakes taking place in the Gorda Ridges and down by the uh, Gorda Escarpment area, 2.7 there, and a 2.6 uh, into the Ridge area. What else we got here? Into Northern California section, Mount Lassen is right here. A little bit of movement around Mount, Mount Lassen, but outside of the park, a good uh, oh, five miles or so from the peak. 
But right around that uh, level where we watch for potential magma movement, 5.1 kilometers below the surface. But I believe this is uh, pretty much uh, tectonic uh, activity here in the uh, uh, parts of the Sierra Nevada. Geyser activity ramping up once again. Uh, it's typical movement along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. Nothing significant, just a little bit of microquake activity there. Uh, Long Valley Super Volcano seeing a few quakes there as well. Um, down to the south, the swarming activity there in Salton Sea region looking pretty quiet for the time being. Um, of course, that could always change in the blink of an eye. Um, it's possible that we could see that ramping up here once again with the movement out in the Texas area and the Intermountain West region seeing some movement as well. Uh, you got to look at this as a regional whole system, right? Uh, it kind of gives you an idea of, of where some pr potential pressure is building up in as a regional whole. You know, this is many, many miles away from me, many, many miles away from uh, everyone in California, as far as Yellowstone and Texas goes. But you got to look at it as a whole. Uh, and I see uh, a lot of increase in pressure out here along the entire western portion of the North American continent, including some uh, activity up here into uh, parts of, uh, uh, where is this, Juneau area, just on this side of the boundary, 3.0 and a couple of small quakes there as well including a an explode ice quake check that out 2.7 ice quake that's pretty significant an ice quake making a 2.7 magnitude okay that's kind of crazy so does that mean this other activity is going on or, or did this 2.8 cause the ice quake either way kind of watching that region as well alaska looking fairly active including a little swarming out here uh, in this region Look, it looks like a 4.2 and a couple other small microquakes uh, pretty deep into the subduction zone there of the Pacific Plate. Um, right here, subduction zone. 70 kilometers for that earthquake activity right there, that 4.2. Japan still very, very, very quiet for now. 5.3 though, off, well off south, south of the uh, Japan area. A little bit of movement around the Indonesia region, Kapang, Indonesia. And also some activity over here near Vanuatu. Vanuatu. That's the one I always have problems with. There's a lot I have problems with, I'll admit it. But that one there really gets me every single time because like before I do my updates, I know what I'm gonna say, but it doesn't come out that way. It just, it doesn't happen. Uh, South America and Chile area seen some deep movement into the subduction zone there of the Peru-Chile Trench an area where we see significant earthquake activity over the years. In fact, the world's largest earthquake have, has occurred along this subduction zone. Uh, let's see, Texas, still a little bit of movement. I've seen a couple articles regarding, um, you know, potentially about maybe a big one co coming to Missouri, Arkansas, and the new Madrid fault system. We can't be for sure of that, folks. You know, a lot of articles being put out by the, uh, the uh, news media just selling some stuff you know they want to get some some time get some uh get some air time on i don't see anything significant that would tell me that there's a potentially a, a big earthquake coming to the new madrid fault system yes we have seen a couple small earthquakes around this region a couple small ones you can see them right there that is in the new madrid fault uh seismic zone the hazard area right smack dab in it uh, but that does not necessarily mean uh, that there's a big one coming. It's just an active fault, and with all the pressure uh, and um, and movement along the uh, hold on a second here, let's go back, get rid of this around the um, uh, North American Craton area, this extended area right here. Um, it's it, it's expected right to see movement in this area, including the East Coast region, uh, but nothing significant uh, coming. I don't think. Uh, let's see here. Puerto Rico area also calming down a little. Calming down. A little bit of movement around the uh, Puerto Rico Trench. 3.9, 50 kilometers. And then some movement out here along the southwest region. Uh, it's kind of area that we watch for um, some swarming, and that's kind of what it's still doing. Hawaii, pretty quiet, folks. Not a whole lot of movement there. It's just a uh, typical southeast flank uh, movement and a little bit of movement off the Loihi Seamount. Very close. 2.6, 14 kilometers there near that underwater volcano. 
All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Like I say, keep an eye on Yellowstone. Kind of swarming. Um, it's fun to watch. It's definitely fun to watch to see a, a super volcano having lots of earthquake activity. But nothing to fear, nothing to worry about until these earthquakes start getting around the four to five range. And then we start seeing GPS movements um, off the chart with inflation, with a, a inflation of the uh, caldera, you know, rising of the ground and gases. Uh, gases would be off the chart. Uh, we'd see abnormal geyser activity uh, and uh, on a broad scale. Um, so far as Yellowstone being a threat at the moment, I do not see it, folks. Those signs that I just discussed would be coming uh, and we would see it and we would know about it off the data and the charts um, that are straight from the seismographs there. There's no hiding the activity that's taking place there at Yellowstone. Um, it's as clear as day. You can see it. All right, folks, have a good day. Have a good night. We'll chat you a little bit later. Stay safe. Peace out.